Doctor, let's talk about the vaccines that uh, so many people are eagerly waiting for. And we are all uh, expecting to see how this is actually going to pan out as well. Uh, we've been reading about how 95% efficiency, uh, it's almost there. Um, but it's not that easy, right? It's not as easy as here you go, vaccine, and then it trickles down to the rest of the country. What exactly does this involve and how do you think a vaccine can actually solve this? So vaccine, how does it act is by ways of mechanisms, we make the virus important to call it, to mm -hmm. cause the disease. Or we take a fragment of the virus and make human body to elicit a response. So this response by the human body gives us a protection against the disease. So that is what is vaccination in short. So of course, if you look at the histories of vaccination, we have vaccines for very handful of diseases also. Not all diseases have vaccination. The fastest vaccine to hit the market till now is just eight years. It's not a few months. Just eight years. Yes. <laughs> so, of course, now there is a very stringent methodology to approve any vaccine or any drug for that matter. Because the dictum in medicine is primum non nocier don't do any harm this is the first dictum in medicine. So trying to speed track, we should not end up with a catastrophe. But of course, many authorities have taken this into account and they have definitely had to speed track. We can't handle this again and again. But then there could be some concerns. Definitely in the early part of the vaccine trials, there were concerns that some neurological affection could happen to them. Mm -hmm. It can happen with any vaccine, even though I say mumps was the fastest. We have vaccines for the common flu. When you take it, sometimes people can have mild fever, mild body ache. We know, we hope we know the treatment of coronavirus to a large extent now. But we don't know how to handle the vaccine related side effects as effectively as we know the disease, which itself is not full, uh, full proof. So, yes, uh, I'm eagerly awaiting for the vaccines. Uh, from what we learn is there are four or five types of it. They claim efficacy 90 to 95 percent. Well, if many of us take it, they say it is two doses, four weeks apart. Again, controversy over first it should be a half dose and then a full dose. Yeah. As we know, this is an elusive target. We don't know much about the virus as definitely as we knew about some other diseases. So all in all, it is a ray of hope, but I hope it is as much useful as in other cases. Someone also questioned that most other vaccines are 60, 70, 80 percent effective. How come you have a 95 percent effective or 90 plus percent effective vaccine? But there are multiple companies. I hope not everyone could go wrong and we are looking forward for it. But till it is proven, till it is you have taken the vaccine, both the doses, we should not forget the SMS or what it has been highlighted, the social distancing, actually it should be physical, not social. Yeah. You need to get closer socially and right. distance physically. Masking and sanitization, these are the definite vaccines which will work. Right. Vaccines, other vaccines, I hope they work and they will most likely work. But exactly to what extent, only time would tell.